Thank you. Call to order the Penn Trafford uh, School Board meeting, January 12th at 706. We'll start with Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of Fortune Sands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Chastain. Here. Dr. Koshko. Here. Mr. Leonard. Here. Mr. Newell is absent. Mr. Neiman. Here. Mr. Trusi. Here. Mr. Stobar. Here. Dr. Trey. Here. You have a form, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Mr. Lego. Um, we're going to change things up a little bit here. We're going to move the information up first because of the, some of the weather going on out there. Uh, Dr. Harris. All right, thank you. Um, first of all, Lucas Johnson is, is here with his presentation of student union representation. Well, everyone, after 2015. And, yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start off with student union. Uh, student union will be having a senior citizens prom, which is paperwork up here for potential sponsors. On February 21st, 2015, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. in the high school cafeteria. All right. This dance is for uh, area senior citizens 65 and older. A jazz band will be performing. There will be a DJ, DJ TJ, and uh, light refreshments. Teens for Jeans collection will be from today until February 14th. Uh, the jeans will be delivered to Aeropostale on February 15th, and that uh, the school that collects the most jeans will win a $5,000 grant uh, for the school. Uh, prom committee. Uh, there will be an informal dance sponsored by the prom committee on February 27, 2015, and this year it will not be uh, themed after last year's previous morph. Also, grand march this year will be held in the gym because of construction. And lastly, uh, is there any comments, questions? What's the jeans program? Uh, teens for jeans. Uh, what happens is you can bring in old jeans, and uh, Mrs. Kabuda has a box in her room uh, where you can just drop them off, and we drop them off the unfortunate uh, kids at Air Force. You want old fogey jeans? What? Old fogey yeah. jeans? Yeah. You want to yeah. donate them? Yeah. You have yeah. any action? Yeah. Bring them in. I'm getting ready to clean out my closet a lot. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, we need them. So, this is the booze room. High school, right? Yes. Any other questions, Thomas? All right. Thank you very much. For coming. Thank you for coming out tonight. Appreciate it. Next, we're going to move to Student of the Month, our favorite part of each school board meeting and the favorite part of the month. And we're going to start off with the elementary from Sunrise. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Um, I actually have to give my district goal update because I have not been here yet this year. So I will briefly go through that very quickly. Uh, Sunrise has had an extremely productive and busy first half of the school year. Our staff have been working tirelessly to achieve progress and growth with the instructional and achievement goals. Our building SMART goal focuses on the implementation of PLN writing strategies. Our students are writing class books daily prompts, journals, and we have increased our expectations with writing on assessments. We are also reading the book, The Daily Five, as a staff to learn new literacy and learning strategies to add to our reading lessons. We have had training and discussion sessions with Greg Saracini regarding DOK. The staff has been working to change the depth of their questioning in order to increase rigor. Greg has been a great help in these morning discussion sessions. <laughs> Grades three, four, and five are working on their STEAM lessons during science classes with all the students. They complete EIE kits, other STEM-based activities, and lessons involving creativity, problem solving, and collaboration. Customization, such as MCL, is embedded into our daily experiences. All of my grade levels in the building pretest for math. They address individual skill needs with flexible grouping and plan lessons that meet student skill areas. Several grades have Im implemented some customization in reading by flexible grouping for skill lessons on a variable schedule. Others also use novel studies to address skills instead of simply using the basal reader. In addition, the Sunrise staff is truly dedicated to not only raising the achievement level of all students, but also seeking out creative and meaningful experiences for students to grow in their individual learning. Working to address the PA core, align the curriculum to the standards and also meet the district goals has kept the staff driven, focused, and extremely busy this year. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Moore. Sure, so it is my pleasure to welcome Jesse Bridge. Jesse, you wanna come on up here? Sunrise Elementary 
would like to congratulate the Elementary Student of the Month for January, Miss Jessie Bridge. Jessie is the 10-year-old daughter of Jessie and Debbie Bridge, who are here this evening. She is currently a fifth grader at Sunrise. Jessie has one older sister, Mackenzie, who is a sixth grader at Trafford Middle School, and a younger brother, Brayden, who is four. We are so proud to have Jessie in our school and district. She is a bright spot in everyone's day and a joy to have in class. When I asked Jessie's teachers to describe her, they stated that Jessie really tries hard in everything she does. She is willing to ask questions and always has a smile on her face, just like now, as, um, <laughs> along with being nice to others. Jessie continually approaches each task with a positive attitude. Jessie's homeroom teacher, Mrs. Lebecki, stated that Jessie is a pleasure to have in class. She works hard, participates, helps her classmates, never gives up, and is always in a good mood. When speaking with Jessie, she told me that she likes to play soccer on her PT Travel soccer team and also dance around the house. She enjoys communicating with her friends by texting or using FaceTime. Jessie mentioned that she enjoys helping her sister with her homework and also her brother when he needs any kind of assistance. Jessie's favorite part of her school day is math. She told me that, quote, when she has a big test, she wants to make sure to study hard so that I can get a good grade on it. I ask the teachers questions when I don't understand something and I like to have my mom check my work to make sure it is right. In speaking with Jessie's mother and father, they told me that they were extremely proud of Jessie. She has been working very hard lately at school. Jessie continues to try her hardest at whatever she does and makes efforts to always do the right thing. They told me that she is helpful and constantly tries to please others. At home, Jessie loves to sing and dance around the house. She and her older sister, Mackenzie, work well together and help each other with their homework. Jessie also remembers to include her little brother, Brayden, in activities. Jessie spends her free time doing active sports. She plays on the PT soccer team, enjoys shooting hoops or riding her bike. Mom and Dad told me that she just never sits down. It is my absolute pleasure to recognize Miss Jessie Bridge as the Sunrise Elementary January Student of the Month. Congratulations. <laughs> so you asked a lot of questions. Have you ever had Mr. Renier? Did he give you good answers? <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations. It sounds like you're uh, quite a handful. Thank we're you. proud of you. Uh, next, we're going to have Mr. Denapoli from Trafford Elementary. Gabriella, come on up. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Ms. Gabriella Musser as this month's Elementary Student of the Month from Trafford Elementary. Gabriella is currently a third grade student in Mrs. Sipple's class. She is here tonight with her mother Sarah Musser and her fiance John, also her aunt and uncle, have uh, come to show some support, which is really nice. She's been talking about it uh, the last two to three weeks. She's been very excited about it tonight. Uh, Gabriella is a well-rounded young lady who truly enjoys all aspects of school. While she is out of school, she loves to play with her two miniature pincher dogs, Jack and Zoe, along with taking time to brush her cat, Emo. When she has some free time, Gabriella, Gabriella likes to listen to music on her mother's iPod and play solitaire as well. Talking with her classroom teacher, Mrs. Sipple, she states Gabby is an exceptional role model on how to be a great student. She is always positive and open-minded. If she has a question, she doesn't hesitate to ask. Responsible, smart, hardworking, neat, happy, flexible, and curious are all great words to describe her. Her compassion and kindness towards others makes your heart melt. She always knows how to scoop up the good in any situation. Other students are drawn to her because of her demeanor. Her smile is infectious. I will take 20 of her any day. That's some good stuff there, Gab. When asked what she would like to do in the future, Gabriella mentions, mentions the medical field, maybe a veterinarian. Huh. We are happy to have Gabriella at Trafford Elementary, and congratulations on being this month's Student of the Month.
drive the bike. You have a dog. What kind of dogs do you have? Minute pinchers. Minute pinchers. How big are they? I mean, Thank you, Heinz. Uh, next, we have Mr. Simpson at Middle School. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Uh, I'd like to introduce Grace Bender, eighth grader at Penn Middle School. Grace is a 14 year, 14 year old eighth grader, and she has three sisters. Sarah, a senior here at Penn Trevor High School, Emma, a seventh grader at Penn Middle, and Amelia, who's a second grader at Harrison Park. She's the daughter of Brian and Angela Bender. I spoke to her younger sister, Emma, and she shared how much of their time is spent together on creative endeavors, drawing, singing, and critique, critiquing each other's art. Uh, she's very proud of her big sister. She says people would be surprised to know that she suffers a little bit from stage fright. You'll see why in a minute. Uh, she's a high honor student and she's actively involved in the Spectrum, Spectrum program. Her involvement in Spectrum, she's participated in many activities such as the architecture competition, prose, poetry, duo drama, vocal competitions, and a number of other activities. Grace's passion is the theater, the stage, and everything involved with music. She's a member of our band and chorus plays the French horn, flute, and piano. She was elected to the all-county band in both 2013 and 2014, and I'm assuming that's going to happen in 2015 also. She was also selected to district band. She loves to sing and studies under voice coach Gail Nolette. This year she's been had the honor of being selected to the all-county chorus also. She's very involved in local community theater, in addition to being a member of the Penn Middle Drama Club, where she was Belle in last year's spring musical, Beauty and the Beast. Grace has performed in 25, yes, 25 productions at several different local theaters. When she's not performing, she's out helping in local theaters with painting, ushering, and whatever else needs to be done. In addition, Grace is an active Girl Scout and has recently been selected to be on the Girl Scout media team for Girl Scouts of Western Pennsylvania. She was also chosen to sing the national anthem at the 100 year Girl Scout anniversary opening in downtown Pittsburgh. Her favorite part of Girl Scouts is camping with friends and volunteering for local community events. Grace's teachers say that she's not only an outstanding student on her own, she's someone who's always willing to help others. She's bright, organized, mature, and always seems to be happy. She's simply a delight to have in class. What separates her from other role model students who do act well academically it's her positive attitude and personality. She always has a smile and brings that energy to the classroom. She's, uh, Mr. Bechtel says she's the A in STEAM, art. She's currently scheduled to participate in six Spectrum events all in the next few weeks. Just the other day, he observed her singing as she worked on an architecture project. Before long, additional group members were singing, let it go. Uh, summoning Elsa's inspiration. Inscribed on the Nobel Media on the Nobel Peace Prize Media for Literature is a Latin translation, Inventions Enhance Life, which is beautified through art. Having grace in class helps beautify all activities. I've yet to find a more conscientious, talented, and hardworking student in the six years I have known her. Grace is always striving to put the extra effort to take herself to the next level in singing and playing, singing and anything else she does. I'm proud to announce Grace as our student of the month. And we'll pass out the certificate a little bit later, but we're gonna move on to the high school student of the month, Mr. Pat. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Uh, it is a great pleasure to introduce Sarah Wilkinson from the high school. Sarah is currently, <clears throat> is currently an 11th grader and attends the Bow Tech. She is in the carpentry program. She currently has a 3.6 GPA and to date has not missed one day of school this year. Uh, spoke with some of her teachers to get some ideas how she is in the classroom. 
Mr. Campero for science. Sarah is an excellent student as well as a wonderful person. In chemistry, she is one of the highest performing students. She is willing to help others learn and have fun while working in groups. Her friends find it amazing that she hasn't missed school one day since second or third grade. They're not sure, but they describe her as someone who isn't afraid to be herself. Mrs. Spada, Sarah constantly demonstrates brilliant academic performance. She is intelligent and inquisitive. She yearns to gain both in-depth knowledge of all presented material and has shown true motivation. She is extremely cooperative and possesses the capacity to contribute positively to the work as a team. With her determination and hard work, I have no doubt Sarah will be successful in all of her endeavors. Mr. Shaw stated, Sarah is a conscientious student and puts good effort in pre-calculus class on a daily basis. She is mature, quiet, and all around great student. It is great to have students like Sarah in class. And finally, Mr. Kistler from Votech. Sarah is a very hardworking student and he has had the privilege to work with her for the past two years. When Sarah arrives to shop each day, she goes straight to her locker, puts on her work boots, safety glasses, and gets her tools out and goes right to work. She has always been pleasant, cheerful, and, pleasure to, and a pleasure to work with. Her work ethic is fantastic, including the fact that she has not missed a single day of school this year. That's big, especially coming from the book test. She is always on task and always strives to do an excellent work on every job and test in the shop. Sarah is the only female student in carpentry class, but fits right in with all the other male students and is well liked and respected by all of her classmates. Her ambitions after high school, she continues in the education in the trades. Finally, I'd like to congratulate Sarah Wilkinson as Penn Trafford High School Student of the Month. Congratulations, Sarah. I'm always glad to hear somebody from Protect. I'm a Protect to graduate myself. So Thank you. You do a great job. Can we always do a, um, a group photo after the um, presentation? Do you think Grace will be back in time? Or we're a group photo? Okay, so at this time, if the other three students can come up front. All this As we are transitioning um, back to the meeting, I did have a couple other things on their information. One is for school recognition month. I also have something from CAP too, just briefly to talk about. But remember, January is National School Director Recognition Month. I was going to have an article to read too, but I gave it to Chris and Brenda, so hopefully they can publish it. And I'll just read your accomplishments from last year. So I'll save us some time. Last year, you approved over a $31 million building project, bonds totaling over $9.5 million. You hired 18 teachers, hired 12 student learning assistants, and approved the memorandum of understanding for the SLAs, hired five special education teacher assistants, hired an occupational therapist to save money from outsourcing, negotiated a four-year teacher contract, implementation of new instructional programs including foreign language classes at the middle school, Project Lead the Way, Zulama, and 18 new courses at the high school. Approved a technology purchase totaling $570,000 to provide upgraded technology to all the buildings. Approved a five-year food contract. Approved a budget for the 2014-15 school year. Examined, updated, modified, and approved at least 114 school policies. Established new board non-negotiable goals. Approved a new naming rights policy. Adopted a new teacher evaluation system. Implemented a rifle club. Approved the purchase of on-hand school to provide data analysis to administrators and teachers. Added a new PT Cyber Academy to help reduce the cost of students enrolled in cyber school. Hired a high school principal. Hired an assistant superintendent, which I really do appreciate. And hired a superintendent, which I appreciate even more than <laughs> It was a busy year. You did this all. Thank you so much. Like I said, I could probably double everyone's paycheck easily. You don't get paid anything. So I, I do appreciate it. Put a lot of time and effort into it. And here's hoping that this school year is not as active. <laughs> so, but no, there's a lot of things on, and the more we do, it's great for the kids. So I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. And other news, two other items. I know I said I was going to be short, but I lied. 
Pennsylvania, this is two exciting things. The Pennsylvania Department of Education, Division of Federal Programs, would like to honor Trafford Middle School, and I wish he was here tonight, Roger. Um, at the 2015 Title I Improving Schools Performance Conference as a 2015 Distinguished Title I School. Trafford Middle School was among the top 5% of all Title I schools due to their high performance and high progress in closing the achievement gaps. So I'd like to congratulate Trafford Middle for that. And I also would like to thank the road crew and the police department of Manor, Trafford, and, and, and Township for all the hard work in keeping the children safe and keeping the district well informed as to the road conditions. For example, last night, all, they were out treating the roads in preparation for today, and they were out at four o'clock this morning as well. I probably received about set seven different phone calls starting from four o'clock yesterday up until four in the morning about the conditions of the road. I do appreciate your time and I'm always thinking about us and taking care of the school district. And finally, um, Tap, did you want to tell us about what's going on this week with our new summer STEM programs? Sure, it's gonna kick off tomorrow. We're gonna place it online. We're offering 12 STEM class, STEAM classes, uh, K through eight, K through nine. Uh, everything stemming from uh, robotics to rocket science. It's going to uh, span half the classes, K through four and, and five through eight. We're trying to mix it all up all over the district, and it's going to go all summer. It's going to be offered to all of our students here. The teachers are excited about it. Um, it's a new program we're offering. I think it's very feasible what we're uh, asking. Uh, it's four days a week, and we're getting a lot of feedback already from parents on where to sign up. So it's going to be an exciting summer. Also, along with that, at the elementary level, at the high school level, we're also offering uh, enrichment uh, courses, remediation, and also a college class this summer as well. And to uh, not get bombarded like we did last summer with the driver's ed, uh, we're also offering a spring course starting uh, next month, and it's almost filled up as well. So we're doing a lot of things other than just the regular school day, and it's exciting. We're moving along. I appreciate the school was always busy throughout the summer, throughout the school year weekends there's always activities going on and I appreciate it all the admin works all the teachers you if we don't have teachers doing it we wouldn't be able to have the program so I appreciate that as well thank you and that's all I have for information we just have to jump back to approval of the minutes all right thank you dr. Harris um, I have a motion to approve the minutes of the um, December 2nd meeting motion. Motion. Second. Um, motion by mr. Lamp or Mr. Kachasek, second by uh, Mr. Leonard. Question. Uh, question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. Uh, at this time we have is recognition of visitors. No one has signed up to speak tonight, so uh, we will move on. May I have a motion to approve the treasurer's report and the high school extracurricular fund report. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Kachasek, second by Dr. Trey. Question. Question being called for. Uh, this will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. May I have a motion to approve the list of bills for the month of January 2015? Motion. Motion by Mr. Leonard. Second. Second by Dr. Trey. Question. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. Old business. Do we have any old business tonight? We have none, Mr. President. Um, Ms. Cope, anything from our executive session? No. Um, we had an executive session um, before the meeting, and we discussed personnel matters, gathered information, and discussed some other issues. Thank you very much. Um, new business, athletics, and extracurricular. Dr. Kajian. Thank you, Mr. Fred. Moved to accept the following resignations, effective immediately. Andrew Shop, <coughs> girls assistant varsity softball coach. Stephen Perry, assistant varsity football coach. And Chad Wazo, junior high girls assistant volleyball coach. Second. Question. Um, second by Mr. Leonard. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Move to employ the following personnel. New employment is contingent upon receipt of all necessary documentation and acceptance of Act 34. 
151 and 114 waivers from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania within 30 days. Summer Daniel, 7th and 8th grade girls assistant volleyball coach at Trafford. Jason Goida, winter percussion instructor. Meredith Hodge, department chair for math, 6th through 8th at Penn Middle. Brandy Lockwood, department chair for language arts, 6th through 8th at Trafford Middle. Beverly Rubright, spring musical pianist. Renee Rumbaugh, newspaper sponsor at Trafford Middle School. Doug Cortez, spring musical pit conductor. Erica Smith, junior high girls assistant volleyball coach at Penn Middle. Chad Wazo, junior high girls head volleyball coach. And Christy Dolich, winner Keller Guard instructor. Second. Second by Tony. Question. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of motion say aye. 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 All opposed? No. Who would employ the vol motion following change. volunteer coaches? All coaches, volunteers must have Act 34, 151, and 114 waivers on file with the athletic director. Dave Renett, volunteer girls volleyball coach at Penn Middle. Mike Smith, volunteer softball coach. Ashley Ian Roberto, volunteer softball coach. Second. Question. Second by Dallas. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. That'll be all, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Koshko. Budget Finance, Mr. Kachasik. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, move to approve the following expenditures for the high school renovation project according to the schedule as listed below. Second. Second by Dr. Trey. Question. Question, Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. Move to authorize the administration to enter into an agreement with the lowest responsible bidder for, uh, bidder for the pipe bursting project at Penn Sheriff High School pending all necessary governmental approvals. The bids were open at a public session on Monday, January 12, 2015 at 12 p.m. at the administration building. And the winning bidder was Wilson Excavating at 407 East at Shunuk Avenue, New Wilmington, Pennsylvania, 16142, and the bid was 158 237. Second. Question. Second by Nick. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carries. Move to authorize Access Architecture PC to prepare and submit all required plan con documentation to PDE relating to the site sanitary storm repairs, including a revised F-19 form and plan con part one. Second. Aye. Second by Mr. Petrucci. <coughs> Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. The motion carried. That is all I have this evening, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Kachasa. Buildings, grounds, and safety, Mr. Leonard. Well, thank you, Mr. President. I do would like to make a motion to employ Mr. David Kane. As custodian to be assigned by the administration effective December 22nd, 2014, compensation will be at the rate of $14.90 per hour with fringe benefits provided according to the negotiated agreement. No employment is contingent upon the receipt of all necessary documentation. The acceptance of Act 34, 151, and 14 waivers from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania within 30 days. Seconded by Mrs. Mrs. Kissing. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. The motion carried. Uh, employee relations, negotiations, transportation. Mrs. Issing. Nothing to report, Mr. President. Thank you, Ms. Sizzing. Food service, Dr. Trey. Thank you, Mr. President. I actually do have a report. It's very rare. Once a year, it's probably it. But, uh, but the, uh, the uh, Aramark met just recently. I met three times this year, primarily in high school. And uh, being the mid-year point of the year, it's probably the perfect year to go through one, because this is a pivotal time frame. They did a standard report based on personnel, organization, safety, uh, financial issues. And I'm going to split part of this in just a moment with uh, Mr. Log with that. I think you'd like that update. And uh, the other one was the client. The client issues relate to the students. Uh, they have met three times this year with students to get a, a feel on sample products that occur. I'm not going to go through the menu because I don't have anywhere near the expertise as, uh, as Mr. Petrucci in going through a lot of venues. So I will not do that. I'm not going to get into his territory or David Wick at all. But they do sample a lot of things because there are issues related to balance of quality food and taste and uh, nutrition and so on. 
but um, it's an ongoing process to try to deal with. But the difficulties I'll pass on in some detail to Mr. Lago. Can you pick it up, please? Um, well, the challenges that the food service really uh, face have to do with the standards that the federal government uh, promulgate. Uh, as the nutritional standards become tighter and tighter, it makes the uh, meal offerings harder and harder to come up with and uh, the students are less and less receptive to those uh, offerings. So unfortunately, uh, if the intention of the program is, the, is for kids to eat healthier, I think what we're finding is kids are throwing more in the trash and that's unfortunate. So um, there is some talk that they may loosen those regulations to some degree. And I would encourage anybody who wants to see less food go into the uh, trash cans to get a hold of the, the people in Washington and let them know that uh, the kids uh, don't need these standards that are so tight that they don't want to eat. That's so, so it is, it, 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 and it's affecting the bottom line of the district. It's very hard. We haven't made a profit in many years, and we're not in this business to make a profit, but we'd like to break even. And the challenges of, you know, enrollment going down and standards just getting so tight, it's, it's next to impossible. How, how close are we to breaking even? I understand we're a little bit of a deficit. Is that correct? Uh, we're projected this year with the guarantee that they provided us under the contract. Where they're tracking right now, we should just about break even. It's remarkable. It is. Thank you. That's all, That's all, I That's all we have, Mr. President. Thank you, Dr. Trey. Personnel and curriculum. Mr. Patrice. Thank you, Mr. President. Move to approve the list of the substitute teachers and support personnel for the month of January 2015. Motion. Seconded by Phil. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed? No. Move to put the following personnel for this contingent upon the receipt. Of all necessary certification documentation and acceptance of Act 34 of 151 114 waivers from Commonwealth Pennsylvania. Student Learning Assistant John Delancey, effective December 15, 2014, annual salary 28000 prorated at Penn Middle School. Math Tutor Megan Minford, effective January 13, 2015, <coughs> from semester, second semester of 2014 15 school year at the Penn Sheriff High School at the, subs, at the substitute daily rate. Michael Mulchin, Effective January 13, 2015, an effective semester to 2014-15 school year in Trapper Middle School at substitute daily rate. Math tutor at Penn Middle School to be determined. Second. Professional, paraprofessional Amanda Erickson, effective January 20, 2015 at 10.50 per hour at Penn Middle School. And Gabrielle Stoll, effective December 18, 2014, $10.05 per hour at Harrison Park Elementary School. Second now. Second by Question. Mr. Leonard. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carries. That was my fault, uh, Mr. Leonard. I was making sure I was reading too far ahead to make sure to mispronounce my anybody's name. Move to accept the following resignation. Christy Killian, fair professional at Penn Middle School, effective December 23rd, 2014. Motion. Seconded by Mr. Kachasek. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the following leave request and subs were noted. Jill Hawk, learning, learning sabbatical from January 12th to May 27th of this year. Dawn Brady will be her sub. Tammy King, FMLA, effect, leave effective January 15th to 15th for approximately six weeks. Christine Tapp will be her sub. Teresa Morrow, FMLA, from January 5th to January 30th this month, 2015. Stephen Weir, FMLA, leave from January 19th to 28th, 2015. And Brenda Woolsey, FMLA, from November 20th to December 16th, 2014. I guess that's okay. Okay, I'm sorry. That's it then. She already Weir did this, and she's done. We have a second. Second. Question. Second by Mr. Mr. Leonard. Question. question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move the following adopt 2015 16 school year as recommended by the superintendent and make it part of official minutes. The 2015 16 school year will begin with an in service day on Monday, August 24th, 2015. It will officially terminate June 30th, 2016. 
The last day of instruction in grades K-11 will be Friday, May 27, 2016, unless it becomes necessary to extend the school calendar because of weather conditions, emergencies, or other urgent reasons. Second. Second question. by Mr. Kachasek. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move the form to adopt 2015-16 service employees calendar and make it part of the official minutes. The calendar be for 247 working days and 14 paid holidays. Make it work year of 261 days. Yearly employees will be paid for 261 days, including the paid holidays. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. That's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Patrice. Policy Public Relations Legislative Title II. Uh, Dr. Trey, could you please uh, stand in for Mr. Hill tonight? Yes, uh, we have no report this time. Yeah. Um, yes, you do. Thank you. We do have a report. <laughs> I'm not standing very well to stand here. You don't have to get to worry about tasting food. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> thank you, my colleagues. Thank you for thank you for letting this pass so easily. Let us move to accept the resignation of Mrs. Tracy Laser uh, as PTARC representative. Second by Mr. Kachas. Quick question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor, please <coughs> say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. I'd like to move to give the uh, final approval of the following revised policy as presented to the board. A copy of this policy is made in the official part of the minutes. Uh, 252, which is dating violence. Second. Question. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. And uh, finally, to move to tentatively approve uh, the following revised policies and regulations as presented to the board as listed. Second. Second by Mr. Trucy. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. That's all I have for this president. Thank you, Dr. Trey. Wonderful job. <laughs> Taxes, insurance, and census. Mr. Stovar. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Move to approve the sale of property located at Penn Traffic School District. It is presently in the unsold property repository pursuant to Section 627 of the Real Estate Tax Sales Act, 72 PS 627 by the Westmoreland County Tax Claim Bureau. Uh, tax Map number is 55-09-16-0-021, the amount of $500. Second. Where, where's that at? I can't Question. Oh, I don't know. I don't. I, honestly, I don't. I don't recall where it's at. I don't. There's really not any option we have. We have to accept it. Oh, bill. we have to? We have to accept it. How big is the parcel we need to get? Uh, Mr. Leonard, do you have any idea? I don't. I'm, I'm not prepared to answer that. I, I also would like to have an answer. And I'd say, <coughs> since it has a tax belt number, that's what I'd have the question about. Because I'm tax exempt property here. So I, I, I don't have any more. Well, I Anybody else? Do you want us to find yeah. out before we. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the manager we went to that's on the list, basically. Yeah. Who's taking it from this, I guess, is the question. This is a piece of property that has gone through the tax sale process and has not been sold. So it's sitting there. The county basically owns it. Oh, so we don't own it. No, we don't. No, it's no. got a tax map number. It's owned by a private entity. That's what I'm saying. Well, the, the tax map number would identify the parcel. Right. Yeah, right. That's right. But parcel. whoever owned the property just basically abandoned it. Walked away. Oh. Not, there's no taxes being paid on it at this point. So this, the whole process is paid out. And the way that this, this uh, state law works is if it's gone through that process, unless we have a reason to object to it. I apologize. I thought it was property that we owned. No. Yeah. No. It's, no. It's, it's, it's an actual. Cool. The last one we had, if you remember, was on Route 130, and it was a dilapidated old house that was, you could basically push over. That's the kind of property that's usually are. What I will do is I'll, I'll, I'll bring back a little something for board. I'll make a second on that motion. 
Second by uh, Mr. Leonard. Question. This is being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. That's all for tonight, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Stove. Our solicitor to report this job. Earlier, uh, Mr. President, I handed out a solicitor's report and running to all board members. And Thank that's all that I have. Thank you, Ms. Shaw. BTE representative, Mr. Rainier. That's it, right on. Look at that. You was not going to call a three hour delay this morning. It's been two hour delay, three hour delay. Thank you, Mr. Rainier. Uh, can I have a motion for adjournment? Motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, we adjourn 749.